Hi, I'm Rafael, and these are my 38 countries. Today, I'll talk about Poland. My impression of Warsaw is it's a really modern and tech-oriented city. Uh, I think it's definitely a really good location for business and also for saving money because the cost of living there isn't too high. So this is actually a really pretty square. If you look at all the houses um, here around this square, it's definitely worth a visit. What's also interesting is you see a lot of Ukrainian flags hanging out of buildings here um, and all around. That's the, to me, it's kind of interesting that they show the support for their neighbors uh, such enthusiastically and so, so explicitly. So what I really love here is the pedestrian zones where there's no cars uh, here in the center of the town. I, I wish more cities did that. Uh, and I think here they only do it on the weekend, but it's, it's good that they do it nevertheless. So unfortunately there's basically a street with a lot of cars there and it doesn't seem like you can walk along the river in a very nice way. My first impression of Krakow is it's really beautiful and it can be a great location for software developers. On the one hand, I would say it's very nice to live here, at least in the summer. Uh, the cost of living is not too high. Uh, but on the other hand, it has pretty good infrastructure overall. So for example, um, there is a good network of uh, electric scooters here and bikes and all these taxi services like Uber and Freenow. Uh, as well as the traditional public transportation like trams and buses. So that's, I would say, pretty well covered. So as you can see, we're doing a Segway tour here. Um, we just started and we're here on this, uh, this big square. It's actually kind of cool. I can rotate here with the Segway and do the sort of panorama video. I really lo love that. Yeah, one thing to note is that if you're not careful, an electric scooter might actually be more expensive than taking a taxi via Uber or Bolt. So pretty much like the same apps. So you, you really got to do the math or try it out a bit and then figure out what, what works better for you. But uh, we, we learned this uh, sort of the hard way, which is okay because in the end it's not super expensive, but it can be a bit annoying if you realize that it took you both longer and it was more expensive to take a scooter than to rent another more or less professional driver to do these things for you. I would say what is actually annoying a bit about Krakow is that I feel like there is so much traffic all the time. Maybe that's temporary because it's summer and there's more tourists or I don't know. But I feel like right now, the streets are full of cars all the time. In the morning, in the noon, in the early afternoon, like at 3 for example, it's not the rush hour. And the streets are still full. Another factor that makes Krakow interesting for software developers or relocating here as a software developer is that there are more of your kind already here. So quite a few IT companies um, have some more or less big office here. And I realized that some uh, entrepreneurship incubators are here. So for example, actually somewhere here behind me, there's a big a Zendesk sign on one of the office buildings or at Deutsche Telekom, they have uh, an office of their startup incubator here. And there's quite a few more. Um, so you're, you're not alone. You will find uh, quite some community here. I think that's always a great factor of uh, moving to a place. One of the cool things about Reshov is it's not very expensive. It's basically on the way um, to Ukraine and the debt sort of keeps the prices um, on a lower level. At least if you you know come from either Central Europe or North America, you'll find it's uh, relatively inexpensive to be here to eat out and so on. 